it's only likely to be my head. Oh, why did you click that? Idiot. Has it gone yes. live for you? It has. There you go. What was I doing last week? Um, Goblin Flea Riders. Oh, that's right. I'll go get those. Try not to trip over any dog toys on the way. That's right. And the men with the Picnic turbans. Picnic turbans. Picnic turbans. Goblin Desert Flea Riders, Grant. Well, at least I can see the chat. There's an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> I have I I can no longer see. <laughs> So they, I actually think the um, the pictures I took of them didn't do them any justice at all. I think they look pretty good. Well, I thought they looked pretty good in those pictures. Mm. But you can keep being hard on yourself. And they were all yellow. So... What are we doing today? Well, bugs. Look at these guys. Hmm. A couple of mosquitoes with riders and a little scorpion. And I'm only calling him a little scorpion because he's littler than the spiders. Well, some of the spiders. <laughs> the ones I've done. Right, hey. Chuck some goggles on and get on with it. How are y'all doing today? Hey, Richard. Yeah. Not too bad, you? Yeah? I'm doing good. Entirely. Trying to get these cars to generate, and so far they're looking nice. Yeah, the image that I saw looks pretty good. Gotten better since. Struggling headset does not want to stay put. All right. <laughs> uh, it certainly did sound like a struggle. Oh, it was a struggle. I should have muted my mic. Yeah, your microphone really doesn't like you touching anything on your head. You should hear what it does when I pick my nose. Mouth organ. Nose organ. <laughs> nose organ. So I decided that I wouldn't go back to sleep this morning, that uh, 
I would let my insomnia get me up. So, I've been up since quarter to six. Mm -hmm. Painting orcs. So I'm going to put a bike coating on these guys so we can use some of the iridescent colours. Oh, fair enough. You'll you make will. Andy very happy. <laughs> I will. I did buy a pot of that. So maybe I should use that. I have two of them. And I've only used one, and I wasn't super happy with it. The the turbo dork. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. It goes on very interestingly. <laughs> okay. What are you working on, me? Uh, well, I was hoping to be working on something different for this morning. But um, I've still got a little bit to go on the um, Skeletal Death Knight Cavalry unit. Right. Uh, that is to say, snow on the base, tufts, and mounting the actual riders, and then they're done. That's not very far away. It's about 12 hours further away than what I had hoped. <laughs> uh, life intervened, did it? Yeah, phone call one o'clock yesterday. I'm bored, come get drunk with me. Right. Followed by five more phone calls that kept coming until I finally answered. And gave in. I gave in. Mm. He's already drunk at that point. Right. <laughs> It just wouldn't have stopped. Well, you sound pretty good, so you've kind of got completely gazeboed. I chose not to. I only had ten beers. Only ten? Only ten over, pints. Over the period of? Hmm. Well, it wasn't 10 minutes, was it? No. no. I can drink a lot of beer, but not that quickly. Uh, it was about seven or eight hours. There you go. Well, even that'd be fine with that. I wouldn't be. I know. And I don't drink. <laughs> I'd be dead. Yeah, it was more an effort in self-control than ability to pour things down throats. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to have those finished off tonight and then I'm going to move on to some critical mass. Oh, very nice. Zass, not Arcfleet. Yes. Still working on a Arcfleet scheme. Yeah, because some insert expletive here stole a blue scheme. <laughs> So this is how far back that goes. I first saw a sky blue digital camo scheme on... It was Imperial Stormtroopers. Mm. Back in the days of 40k second edition. Right. Those new, um, at the time, uh, Stormtrooper sculpts came out. And I thought, those are actually really fucking cool. Hmm. It left a lasting impression on me. 
And you know, I got it from a pair of pants you could buy at the disposals. <laughs> I do have an Australian Army Rabbit Ears camo uh, rain jacket hanging okay. up. <laughs> I suppose good. I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> Arc Fleet in Auscam. Yeah. Actually, why the hell not? I'd have to buy all new paint, but. Wow. Stop me before. That doesn't seem like a tremendous hardship. I've just discovered the limitation of trying to look at the Twitch chat channel on my tablet. Not in an ideal place. You need no, to no. shoot a tablet. <laughs> no, it's in a perfect place. But the uh, screen saver is not helping. Uh, uh, uh. Well, you got to plug it in and you've got to disable your um, it is screen timeout. It is very plugged in because I, I went and watched some 40k squat videos. They're back, baby. Yes, they're not called squats, though. Um, the thing, the tablet's, I don't know, seven years old or something like that. Its battery died five years ago so if it isn't plugged in it isn't working then let's just disable the uh, screen timeout yeah that's it I suppose because I'm in the Twitch app I suppose um, it'd be in settings system yeah, settings. settings somewhere pokey pokey in a minute once upon a long time ago, in an earlier version of mobile Discord, mm. I would get dropped from a call if I was using Discord on my phone and the screen went black. Yeah. So the solution was to have it plugged in and the screen always on. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Would you go for settings? What sort of tablet is it? Android? It's really old Android. Oh, high defensive language is turned on. Should turn that off. Hmm. That's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Settings display. Is that in the tablet or in the app? In the tablet. Yeah. Twitch is such a piece of shit, it wouldn't have, you know. Yeah, no, you things like that. Piece of shit. Some of these. Some of these um, apps do have oh, the Audible app is actually extremely badly behaved on this tablet. Screen timeout. I've got it set to 10 minutes, which is as long as you can go. You can't just turn it off. No, you can't disable it. Told you it was old.
just have to remember to poke it every now and then. <laughs> or upgrade. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Spending money is <laughs> verboten. True, true. Not, not until <laughs> it starts coming in again. <laughs> going to be a hard habit to break. Damn, damn right it is. It's like I've had to start unsubscribing from some of my emails because, you know, I get notifications daily for new things to buy. Of course. And normally I would act upon those. Normally. Yeah, well, he's hoping it's temporary. Oh, it should be. Unless you drag it out. Yeah, I'm not really intending on doing that. And I'm not counting the dollars until they're in my bank account either, if you know what I mean. They've given me a payout figure, but... Uh, Until it actually arrives. Yeah. Until it actually arrives, it's all theory. Laid off or lawsuit? Laid off. Ah. Uh. Redundancy. Redundancy. Slightly more respectable. Well, you know. I've heard worse. I got let go from a firm once. They said, yes, our workload's dropping. We don't can't afford to keep you around anymore. Walked out to the shop, talked to the guy, says, no, we're in an all-time high in business. Mm-hmm. That being said, I was only hired because they needed someone and they wanted to uh, help uh, boost the economy back in 02. Yeah, the whole aftermath of September 11 was ugly. Yeah, no, this is a uh, Corporation sent out a mandate to all of the opcos to trim their operating expenses. So they have. And I was considered superfluous to needs, so off I go. And aside from not being able to buy hobby shit for a little while, life couldn't be better. Because I hated the place. <laughs> they look really dark at this point, don't they? Well, they're supposed to if you're going to use that... Um turbo dog stuff on yeah i'm gonna leave the legs the contrast black yeah but the um the iridescent stuff on the, the wings and the the body should pick it up a little bit am i in frame barely barely Because I cleaned up the work laptop and the monitor and all that kind of stuff, boxed all that up 
to go back. I've got a heap of room now, so I just rearranged. So where the laptop was immediately to my right, it's now a, a working surface that I can use. Mm. It just has made this all just a little bit more difficult. Well, remember that the cameras are pointed at your surface and if your hands are on the edge of your table, then they're not in shot. Yeah. I know it's far more comfortable to paint that way, but... Well, now you're painting in shot, kind of, but you're being hidden by your face cam. <laughs> <laughs> got to get those marks back up yeah and stop cleaning the bloody surface <laughs> anywhere done. from 28 to 39 and you're fine In here. you've got 11 centimeters to work with <laughs> right and seven deep so <laughs> Okay, we're bracketed now. <laughs> uh, just like sitting in the pilot seat of a Calistonian fighter, yes. bearing down on some horrible Commonwealth poor schlub. <laughs> People are starting to get their boxes, they which are. is good. They are, they are, they are. Probably have to invest. Oh, wait, I already bought that. I was going to say, you need to buy more paint for those. I've already done that. <laughs> you have preempted. Well, it was the justification I used for myself anyway. Yes, yes, we'll be coming via England. I suppose that makes sense. Mm. Now, speaking of England, my um, other three starter armies for Demon World finally shipped two days ago. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. There's a bit of a delay. Well, it took a month. Mm. They've had some things happen. Yes, changing monarchs. I was going to say the economy collapsing. They're in real trouble. Uh, England mm. or RPE? England in general. Mm. And all of the rest of, the rest of Europe is going... Brexit was a good idea. Well, just means they have to pay more attention to the Italians. <laughs> now, there's there's a country that knows absolutely everything there is to know about hand wavium. <laughs> but the trains ran on time. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Color should I paint the body? Brown. No, I mean mosquitoes are generally brown anyway. Yeah, they are. I've missed a bit on the legs. Where are my markers? You know, thinking about it, I'm liking the Ozcam for Arc Fleet more and more and more. Really? I hadn't really considered it. Which is, you know, weird. You're gonna give, I mean, you're gonna give him boo boo. <laughs> I think they were only called that because they replaced the black, you know. 
Yeah. I do have a surplus rain jacket. Yeah. Uh, and it's literally hanging on an I-beam five meters from me. Yeah. I can see it from where I'm sitting, and hey. I'm like, why not? <laughs> That'd be pretty good. It's kind of what I wanted to do. Yeah. It's just different colours and it would look great. It's a good camo. Well, they've retired that particular scheme. Mm-hmm. Means I won't base them like a blasted rocky lunar surface. No. Means you're going to have to get some green stuff and do a guy up in a ghillie suit. Mm -mm. They do have sniper rifles for him. Yep. Big. I remember being at an air show oh, so, so many years ago. And there was an army demo happening at the same time. And um, you get three quarters of the way through the show and these bales of straw that had been sitting in front of us just got up and walked away. <laughs> like, they were people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it was incredibly effective. It's unbelievable. There were guys just lying within you know, three, four metres of us, and had been for hours. And we had no idea that they were people. Colour, do you reckon I should do his probe? Same brown? Yeah, or maybe a touch darker. Yeah. Or red. Red. Oh. I believe I spelled that one. All right. Yeah, I'm thinking this brown looks good for him. Right. Oh, baby. So now we'll let them dry. And we'll do some prep work on the scorpion. Oh boy, that's going to be a problem. The 
put the droplet of water out too close to the blob of paint. They are likely to merge with catastrophic consequences. Well, you could have picked up a pipette and siphoned it back out. <laughs> or a bit of uh, paper towel to soak it up. Mm. These things we don't think of. So, of course, you remember how I hate spiders. Yeah. That doesn't extend to scorpions. Which is weird, seeing as how they're both horrible arachnids. <laughs> but scorpions don't do me nearly as badly as spiders. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, I didn't... The day we found a scorpion on the bathroom floor... I didn't freak out quite as much as I thought I was going to. It, yeah. Like, scorpions are obviously dangerous. Mm hmm Whereas spiders can be fairly innocuous looking. It's just... Some mm. benign? Well, some of them. Mm-hmm. I did very poorly, Grant. Very, very poorly. It was a good thing that I was already hammered when I saw that movie, otherwise uh, I might have walked out. <laughs> and I've never rewatched it since. <laughs> I have never rewatched those movies ever. All right. Well, I've never seen Return of the King, so. Ah, uh, the Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah, I got halfway yeah. through Two Towers and threw the remote at the TV and never went back. Well, uh, my kid used to watch it and fall asleep during the battles. She found them soothing. That's good parenting. I used to work with a guy who was a bass player in a heavy metal band. And they used to rehearse in his living room. Can't imagine he was on good terms with his neighbours, but anyhow. The, um, the living room wall backed onto the nursery and the child slept through it. can sleep through that, sleep through anything. Poor kid's probably got tinnitus. Possibly. Haven't seen those guys in a long time. So the kid's probably got a band of their own now. More than likely. <laughs> And if can't hear, it's probably done deaf. Well, it was heavy metal. Case in point. There has been another coup in Burkina Faso. Uh... Hi, it's your fault. Where is that? Burkina Faso. Mm. West Africa. Right. It is their second coup in eight months. One more, they get a discount. Well, they've had six in the last two years. <laughs> they wow. Really, they really are going for frequent flyer, aren't they? 
I would suggest their economy is not terribly good. I would suggest their living conditions probably aren't terribly good. And life expectancy is not as good as it could, should be. There are several things I could say to that. Nearly two million people have fled their homes. Mm. I guess that's over the two years of instability. So it, it, it is definitely a humanitarian crisis then. That's a lot of people. I don't think they have much television in Western Africa. What makes you say that? Well, they got to do something to keep themselves entertained if they don't have television. Right. And they've probably got just as much television as the rest of the world. So they the last time I watched any TV was today at the gym when I was working out. I don't watch it otherwise. There's no point to. Yeah, I don't watch regular TV. If someone tells me about a show, I'll uh, find it online and mm. watch it there. So there was a French peacekeeping force in Burkina Faso up until last month. Right. Uh, and they've been booted out. So they didn't choose to leave. Well, they were told to get out, you horrible racist colonial oppressors. Hmm. You said they were French. Yeah. Sorry. That comment was uncalled for. We don't have those on this this show. Mental note to self. More disclaimer. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> it could have been worse. They could have stuck themselves in a valley and be surrounded and have artillery raining down on them. You would file that one under not learning lessons of the past, perhaps. Are we talking about the Crimean War? No, uh, Din Min Fu. Oh. Uh. They're like, surely the Viet Cong can't get artillery up into those hills. The Viet Congress, hold my rice wine. It's not a big an, big area to constrain yourself to paint in. When the model takes up that entire <laughs> space. space. Grief. Well, if you were to raise the overhead camera another inch, you'd get a bit more. Yeah. You might hit it a bit less too. Oh no, it'd just be in different ways. It's a very crowded airspace over this desk. Oh.
the merging of the paint and the water has occurred. No way! No way! Just broke a leg. You in show business? Yeah. Apparently. This wasn't the easiest thing in the world to assemble, so... No, it looked like a pain in the ass. <laughs> well, what's really disappointing is is that the pincers only really go one way. Hmm. So, I discovered that the second time I glued it together and was forced to disassemble it and glue it together a third time. Oh, okay. That's most of the text. Wait, do you have qualities? You don't have qualities, damn. Right, do the glue out. Hey, Randall, you're the lucky winner. Anything else on for the weekend, Matty? Um, God, I hope. Oh. God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, NRL Grand Final this weekend. Right. I probably won't watch it. 
And I hope not to be dragged into watching it. No skin in the game? Nah. Penrith will win by 20 points. Right. They've been the dominant team all season. It's uh, hard to get excited about a foregone conclusion, isn't it? Yeah. Unless you're a Penrith supporter, presumably. Yeah, well, if you're a Penrith supporter, I just don't care. <laughs> the fleas those goblin riders use as mounts, what precisely do they feed on? Woolly mammoths? Why not? Dragons? Giant spiders? Yeah, there are a whole whole host of dirty great big creatures for him. Mm-hmm. I should put together some of those. Giant fleas? No, giant rhino things. Oh... unpronounceables not without a pint of phlegm in the throat <laughs> I just see that as a soporific pint of phlegm Well, speaking of soporific, I'm going to get up for a minute to make a cup of coffee. Fair enough. Funny you should say that you fell asleep in the Battle of the Five Armies. You're not the only person I've heard tell that story. I think it's a Tolkien thing. Yeah, I never had a problem with that. I actually I enjoyed those movies. Yeah, I know lots of people that have enjoyed them too. So. Then again, I usually have it all in the background. Yeah. As I do a lot of stuff nowadays. Tolkien's not for everybody. Alright. Go back to the mosquitoes. Let's go ahead and do this proper. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Yep. Shake your turbo dork. When you say it that way. <laughs> it's alluring. So, which turbo dork is it? Rainbow Roll. Oh, yeah. That's the one Andy was really keen on. Mm -hmm. All the colours of the rainbow. All the colours of the rainbow. 
So it says three to five thin coats. There we go, that works better. That works much better. So what is it, is it? Um, working on the, uh, pilot cards right now the pilot cards yeah but what works better about them if you're looking at discord it's getting this string of text to actually be where it's supposed to be versus spread out as the qualities is And the fun part is I'm doing it all by hand. Huh. Well, it looks like God. that's kind of what you want. It's a reasonable start. All right. That's one coat. And that's the whole point. We get this started and going so that when I get the rest of the assets, I can start putting them in. So, a question for you then. Will right. these pilot cards allow for pilot growth in campaign play? Eventually, yes. Cool. Because all this data is being fed in from the back end. The individual ranks the qualities which I'm about to put in, the cost, all this is coming up the back end, so when I'm done with it and we get the rules for making your own characters, or even just using the stock ones, it will be able to be managed for them. That's the whole point of the app. Excellent. If you're out there, Todd... Mm. Todd has a few problems that was quick. to deal with at the moment. <laughs> Something to do with hurricanes and trailers and... I thought he was still on the West Coast. Don't tell me he oh, went he to Florida. Is. No, they, but they bought a trailer in Florida. Hey. Well. Well, from the way CNN portrays it, there is no Florida anymore. Well, the tra no, the trailer is in Florida. Still. It doesn't appear to have moved very far. It um, may or may not have been afloat, though. Well, that's a test. Of? Flotational abilities. Unless we're talking about, like, horse floats, and then... <laughs> it's just a trailer. <laughs> Should I go for gold and purple wings? No, why not? Or... Uh, that one's sort of... This one is... What is this one? That one's red gold. Is a pink, silver, pink, pearl, violet, violet, and old copper. Let's try this one. Just be careful with some of those turbo dogs. Some of them actually go over on white. Now this one's a Vallejo, and this one says gloss black too.
Whoa, boy, is that thin. That was kind of a surprise. That was the fun part, trying to get the bottom part of the queue to show up. This is an exercise in how to get Joe to like bugs, Matty. <laughs> Don't start with yellow. Paint them purple. <laughs> They're only purple in a certain light. From a certain angle. Yeah. From another angle, they They're turn green. yellow. Oh, these ones go green. Really strong green. That's actually really quite trippy. Yeah, well, it was even showing up on the stream, so. Mm. And that's just what, one coat? Yeah, just one. So you said they just shipped. I still haven't shipped mine. Happy you. Hmm. Yeah, they did it on the 27th, so I guess two days ago. It was a relatively small order, though. Three starter armies. Yeah. That's only 15 packets, I guess. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. It was, I think it was under 100 quid. Certainly not the biggest order I've placed with them. No. Okay. Coat number two.
Those wings really are trippy. Well, in the angle that they're currently being displayed in, they're just black. <laughs> now they're green. And now they're purple. Yeah, unfortunately, Grant, that hundred quid was a month ago. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, for a hundred quid, you're uh, getting a lot more bang for your buck now that the pound has collapsed. Mm. So, I have uh, a friend whose family is currently in England on a trip. Right. They left earlier this week, but they bought their pounds uh, four weeks ago. <laughs> so, they're uh, not happy about their uh, loss of purchasing power. Mm. What's it down to? Not sure at the moment. It keeps dropping. A uh, dollar four US, apparently. <sighs> Well, it's uh, at parity at the moment, according to XE.com. One US dollar buys. Or am I just a total retard? No. Oh. No, it's uh, 111. Apparently, I converted from British pounds to British pounds. No, oh. and it was parody. That old chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you US even have that option? Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've done that. One hundred US to British pounds is turns into basically less than ninety bucks. Ninety British pounds. A pound will buy a buck seventy four Australian, though. Yeah, but not that long ago it was two dollars twenty. True. Doesn't help with Warlords Games purchases. Can't buy it out of the UK anymore. Oh, excellent. It's like printing money devalues currency. Who knew? Absolutely correct. How many decades is it going to be to claw our way out of COVID stimulus three. at this rate? No, they said three. When did they say three? Two years ago? Two years ago. When yeah. they... So that's actually six decades now. <laughs> yes. That's all right. The world won't be around in six decades. <laughs> well, yes, yes. yes. Your, your father or your uncle or whoever it was, the world will still be here. We just won't be. That's right. Our world won't be around. Other people will have inherited it and moved on. No, if we haven't blown them all up with atomic weapons. No, we haven't managed it yet. It was time. Yeah. Some genius American blew on, blowing up fucking Nord Stream pipeline. I wouldn't put it past anyone. The only people I would put it past is Russia, because they've got the fucking taps to turn it off. They didn't need to blow it up. Seriously, somebody blew it up. Yep. Wow. On the same day that they announced a new pipeline from Norway to Germany for natural gas. Right. Uh, 
I've just had a signal from Max to um Ooh. Yeah, which is amazing seeing as how he's been in the path of Hurricane Ian. Mm. And one of his cats is currently giving birth. Like right this second. Literally the last hour and ten minutes. Well there you go. That'll add some spice to your session. Well, Robin is, you know, not going to play. She's been part of it because she's there watching the kittens being born. Right. Because she loves cats and someone else doesn't, isn't able to. And, well, that's two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a third one. Who's just said no. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it's going to happen then. Yeah. <laughs> I should get him in the ear. Uh, You're welcome to try. Well, he was talking about doing a painting stream of his own at some point. Was he? Mm Mm-hmm. What happened? Just talk for the moment. Fire us on wire. Right, eh? Those wings do look fantastic. They do, don't they? It's a whole... A lot of the bodies too, you probably just they haven't dried enough yet to really start to show. I thought about picking the, the um, I'm not sure you'd call them veins, but the ridges. I thought about picking those out. But I don't know what I'd do with them. Who's decided something down the backyard needs shouting at? Why not? Eyeballs. That'll be entertaining the neighbours. Yeah, let's see. If you're a self respecting mosquito, what colour would your eyes be? Ooh, blood red. Blood red. And they'd fade as you got hungry. And then they'd go all bright and glossy again when you'd eaten. They'd be like windows into your blood tank. (laughs) 
he's just decided with uh, three people down, including both Street Sams and the Combat Magician, <laughs> that he can't effectively scale down encounters to be able to play. But I've given him the link to here, and he'll probably jump over. Cool. Where the hell do I get an invite link for this server? Rapasa? Yeah. The down carrot at the top next to the name, invite people. Oh yeah, there it is. I didn't see it because it's in a different color. Yeah, I'll do it like that. Right.
Mm. Oh. It's been a long day. Damn. Yeah, no kidding. And I think my day started around 4.30 for some damn reason. And it's approaching 6.30. 14 hours. Mm -hmm. I was about to ask you to uh, clarify which 4.30. <laughs> yep. That's why I added it. What do you think? Are you red eyes? I reckon it looks good. I mean, the only improvement you could do to it would be to paint on like a little ti totally tiny, tiny, thin black hexagon pattern to make the eyes look segmented. Have you seen the way my hands shake? Yes, I have. That's why I'm saying it's the only possible way to do it. Hmm. I'm not saying that you should do it. <laughs> I think they look pretty good now. <laughs> if I tried to do that, I'd just ruin them. Deckles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, finally I, had I mean, it's an idea. Brenda. Just My problem is, is that the, the, the deckle material that I've got is really thick. It's kind of designed for cups and things yeah. like that. It's not really designed for miniatures. Righto. So I was going to go with Gore Grunter, I think. Oh no, let's go for Gargrex Sewer. Max! G'day, how are you? I am doing well-ish. For a <clears throat> hurricane and kittens? Kitten yeah, apocalypse. yeah, yeah. My pup has decided to abandon me. He has smelled everything going on, and now he is hanging out in the room with them. So uh, yeah, it's, it's strange, you know. I'm, I'm. He smells blood, it, the blood of his natural enemy. No, he loves cats. Actually, I don't know if he loves cats. They taste delicious. Mm. So what are we doing tonight? Dan has been painting mosquitoes and now he's painting a scorpion. What? Yes, it's too dark. Sadly. Oh, do you reckon that's going to be to get off? This is where you need a big tub of... I don't know, isopropyl alcohol. Mm -hmm. Definitely got one of those, just not right here, not right now. <laughs> well, I think I've probably got 50 litres of it head in the workshop. Mm, nice. Tasty. Although quite a bit of it is full of 3D printing resin, which... Mm -hmm. If it tasted bad before that, oh boy. <laughs> you paint minis as well, don't you, Max? When you I have do. the time? When I have the time, yes. I also build things and scenery. Um, but I'm pretty lazy about it if I need something and I see it as a piece, like if I'm in the pet store or something and I see, oh, look, they've got a aquarium skull thing. Uh, that's going to make a perfect piece for a stand or game scene. 
I certainly would. Yeah. But that's what that it's all plus about. I have... it's, it's about the efficiency. Mm-hmm. That and Halloween skulls. I've got a number of those. I don't know if you guys know. There's a guy somewhere in the US. He's been producing these kits that you've been able to buy for years and years and years. 20, 30 years, something like that. It's called, I think it's called Hearst Arts. And it's basically, you get moulds. These are silicon moulds that you put um, dental plaster in. And it makes bricks. And you then use the bricks to assemble medieval castles or courtyards or temples or whatever. And I always really liked the idea. And then I saw some guy doing videos on it. And it took him, I don't know, 18 months to build a castle. And I'm like, I don't have that much time. Neat idea. But why don't I just go and buy a plastic kit? But you build Lego. Yeah, You're making it sound like Lego. Lego. Build technic Lego. There's nothing little about that Lamborghini. No, and the other two are equally of size, but it's it's not putting Lego bricks together. It's but it could be. Oh, it could be. Why don't more gamers just build their stuff out of Lego? Because it looks like Lego. Yeah. I mean, unless the theme of your game is you're playing a Lego person in a Lego world. In which case, you buy a Xbox or a Nintendo. Well, there's a lot the of games. There's a lot of overlap there between gamers and people who like Lego. And who like Lego games? It's mm -hmm. like a the Venn diagram is a like perfect circle. <laughs> What's the time, Manny? Uh, nine twenty-four. You won't be able to ask me that question next week. <laughs> I'll just get a grumpy response. <laughs> uh, we're talking about daylight savings Some of us get mm. us And some of us don't Oh, they were talking about getting rid of that There's some sort of law that was passed To finally get rid of it But now it's all Fucked up and I don't know Like there's so many rules And it's like, just I don't, I don't get it, just fucking undo it <laughs> Right? It's just a silly law it is man playing with the clocks. But yeah. It's, it's it is man. easy to not play with the clocks. It's man playing with man's clocks. You mm -hmm. know, that whole thing about the curtains? Mm -mm. Mm, I'm going to step away and get me a drink. I'll be right back. Okay, all right. Whose hair is that? Well, clearly, it isn't mine. Clearly. It's too long to be one of mine, I think. Any long hair that's on this desk is Willow's. Well, that was one I just plucked off my shoulder. Right. Which is weird, because I had a shower this morning. You've been cuddling randoms at the pub. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> did, 
The answer to that question is not that I'm aware of. I did have a weird dream last night mm. about some chick trying to sue me for paternity. <laughs> I recall that in my dream, the defense was, but I haven't slept with you in ages, like long before, nine months before the kid was born. Hmm. As to the, post, yeah. as to the defense being, I've never slept with you. Well, that would make sense, given that it was a dream. Hmm. And I have no idea what brought it on. <laughs> Subconscious is a strange thing, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. Right, with the exception of the font, the text is done for the card. Excellent. John for font. Oh, he's getting all the stuff ready for me. Mm -hmm. now, let's see if I remember how to embed a freaking image. Image tag. Eh, it's not the same for SVGs. No, it isn't. Because unfortunately, the way I have to do it and still have it be classified as an image, I actually have to get the image file, turn it into a base 64 image, and embed it in the SVG. Uh -huh. I've done a fair bit of work with plain UML. I know what you're talking about. Keep coming back to these. I should do something else to them. I think I might have to do a little bit of a dry brush on the legs just to pick the legs out a bit. The um, I don't know if you can see the abdomen, but it is very rainbow. It's all sparkly. I'll have to do the same thing for the fonts. Embed the font. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I found that I found this out the fun way when I'm working on another project. Yeah. Like if I embed if I embed it in the HTML itself, it doesn't need it. If I use it as an image, everything has to be in there. Can't find it otherwise. Uh, what was I doing? Paper towel. So are you painting an army for a particular goal? So I'm the line developer for Faster Games for the Demon World line of miniatures products. Mm -hmm. So there's two goals for these armies. The first is to have armies to play test with. The second is to have image photos for product placement and things oh. like that. So when you look at the web store, when it gets refreshed in hopefully in a few weeks, you'll see quite a bit of the work that I've done over the last 12, 18 months as product photos. Nice. Some of those are up there already. Are they? Mm-hmm. And on the, the faster side? Yep. 
throw a link in, Manny. That would be very helpful. Uh, I wish that I could, but I can't use Twitch chat because broken. Twitch is stupid and broken. Right. If I give the link to Max, will Max put it into the Twitch chat for us? Yeah. <laughs> totally. I'd be a go-between. Uh, it's weird, isn't it? It's not weird. Technology. It's a wonderful thing. Mm-hmm. There's the first link. That's to the um, listings for the armies as complete units that you can buy. trying to find where they were. I'm sure some of them have already gone up. Not just on the army page. Well, here we go. Empire. <laughs> A faction formerly known <laughs> <laughs> well, the faction currently known as humans. Yes. And Grant is skipping the fluff and going straight to the dwarves. <laughs> now, I can't claim any credit for the dwarves whatsoever. Any product images that you see that are currently dwarven... We're all painted by Klee. And very nicely on that. Absolutely. And Klee retained his job too, so there is that. That is good for him. He's got young kids. He's on holidays at all the right. moment. Well, what do you mean by retained, retained his it. job? Oh, I got made redundant on Wednesday. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm not. I hated the place. They've just given me a large chunk of change to go and find a new job. So. Mm. It, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah. Thanks. suppose I should do the riders at some point. Because I think the... Um, the mounts are probably pretty much there. Now, which goblin flesh tone are you going to use? <laughs> no. These guys nurture their mosquitoes in caves. I managed to use the right colour for all the orcs. <laughs> I got halfway through that process, Maddie, and went, oh, what have I done? Halfway through painting 600 orcs or halfway painting through the 
the fleas. <laughs> <laughs> it was the it's only sixty, but yeah, the sixty orcs. Oh, that's right. You had the five units of spearmen. Five units of spearmen. Yeah. I was on the metal stage, doing all the chain mail and all that kind of stuff, and I'm like. I seem to have misplaced my will to live here somewhere. So, Max, that was your first pig storm of the season? Yes. Uh, it's first one to hit uh, Florida this year. First one in a few years to be a Category 5 for a short period of time. So, yeah, it was a definite change them from what we're used to. Definitely a big one. Yeah. What was the last Cat 5 you guys had? Mm, let me think on that. It was... Um, um, I don't know. I will uh, do some Googling. Has there been one since Katrina? Um, probably. Yeah, probably, but not one that... Um, At Florida. Did it come down the coast? Like, did it come down via the Carolinas or? Ian, the one they just hit? Yeah. No, it went into the Gulf oh, and then the crossed Gulf. the Panhandle. Right, okay. It tore up the peninsula. Let's see. <laughs> Between Katrina, there was Matthew, and Matthew hit the uh, East Coast, including Florida. Mm. Um, Irma tore up the Caribbean and the Virgin Islands, as well as Cuba. Uh, and it hit Florida, oh but my. it was not a Cat 5 when it hit. And... Uh, after Irma, we haven't really seen anything, and she was in 2017. Right, hey. um, we had a near miss with Lorenzo. No, Lorenzo never came over this way. It was Dorian. Dorian went up the East Coast and um, decided to dump water in New York City back in 2019. Never got to us. Right. And then, yeah. So... Between Katrina, it would have been Matthew and Irma that would be ones Well, they weren't, really hit us hard. They weren't obviously all that newsworthy here because I've never haven't heard of either of them. Mm -hmm. Well, Katrina did one point one hundred and twenty five billion in damage, mm -hmm. and Matthew and Irma combined together barely broke seventy billion. Yeah. So I mean, in comparison, not as damaging, but apparently this Lorenzo one, which hit the Azores, Cabo Verde, and Western Europe, did like a measly three hundred and sixty million in damage. Mm. That's like a uh, one small part of Miami. But, you know, I, I shouldn't joke about how much damage a hurricane makes because, like, people can lose their lives in them. Yeah. It's good to have a good sense of humor, though. Even if it is dark. Uh, at this point, it's the only thing I have left. Oh, you've got a dark kittens. sense of humor. <laughs> I, I've got kittens. Got to. I have to feed those kittens. Well, I have to feed the cat that feeds the kittens. Uh -huh. Apparently, we're up to number three. System. 
Mm -hmm. was three. Mm -hmm. It was kind of adorable when we, the wife sent me a message saying, uh, don't be mad. And of course that automatically kind of set me off. Like, well, what do I not need to be mad about? And then she showed me images of the cat and I said, no. And she said, but the cat is incredibly lovable. And I said, I don't care. No. And then she said, uh, she can be an outside cat. And I said, fine, she can be an outside cat. And then the cat wasn't neutered. And, uh, there is a white tabby around the neighborhood. Uh, and we watched the two of them snuggling at a distance and I'm like, uh, I feel, I felt like, you know, first reaction was, oh, that's adorable. Second reaction was, oh, that's going to make kittens. I should get my water hose. <laughs> um, but I didn't. And so now we have kittens. The male cat has sat out next to our fire pit and cried for her a couple of times. So he's looking for maybe he's just looking for a piece or to find out if she finally popped out the kittens mm -hmm. who knows and there we go image has been added both of them and this is why i need a graphics artist that's why you've got dawn so what are you going to do in the mechs Uh, at this point, the uncle is going to come up from... Where's Uncle John live now? From the Dominican Republic. He has asked for two. Right. A uh, friend of my daughter's is interested in one. So that's... Oh, no, you're right. It was one of Jacob's. One of my son's friends is interested in one. So... Mm -hmm. Eight kittens. Four weeks old on Halloween. It's going to be four weeks old on Halloween. Spooky. Yeah. They're all black cats oh, so far. Black. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. So we're going to adopt them out to people. Cool. That's what we Get them their shots, get them all fixed up and taken care of, and find them some good homes. It's very cool. We have an excessive amount of lizards that live outside. It's just a Florida thing, and they're small, and they're easily captured. Like, I can walk out and grab one. And so I assume that the cats in the neighborhood live off the lizards and the bugs especially the lizards so well the lizards live off the bugs the cats live off the lizards and the hawk eats the cats wow we have we have a family of hawks that live over near the nearby church and her two youngest are now juveniles and they swoop through the neighborhood screaming all the time. Um, earlier in the year, when they were little, you could hear them screaming all the time. And while mom was out hunting, the jays and the blackbirds would harass her. And now I can't see a single blue jay or blackbird or anything out. None of the, them are anywhere to be seen. Uh, but those two falcons are... Definitely patrolling all the time. Fair bird to take a domestic cat. Uh, Grant asks if you have giant pythons in Florida. I think the answer is yes. We do. Um, in fact, there's a bounty by length. Um... I want to say at first it started off to like $100 per foot, but we they apparently got some ridiculously long ones, and so now it's gone down to like $40 a foot, because like some dude turned in a 20-footer. Like, we also have iguanas. Uh, they're, both the pythons and the iguanas 
are invasive. And so there is the free hunting. You see when you can bag it. There's uh and you can take the heads in and get money off of them. And have the rest for Christmas dinner. Oh yeah. Oh wait, that's Cuba. Yeah, you can't, I'm you can't I'm... eat Cuba for dinner. <laughs> no no no. This was the Cuban government last year. Uh advising to eat iguana for Christmas dinner because you couldn't get, you know, chicken or turkey or whatever. Mm hmm The year before, it was hamsters. Mm. I thought that was more of a Peruvian thing myself, but, you know. Why didn't... You do you, South America. I think the Australian government should do that with cane toads. No, what you want to do with cane toads is you want to dry them and then peel off the skin and yeah. then grind it up real fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and then put it on the tips of arrows. <laughs> well, you know, snort it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> put the pepper in peppermint. I haven't seen many cane toads around. Like, not just because it's winter, but the last few years in general. Just haven't been around. Is that not an invasive species where you guys are at? Oh, yeah. Sure is. <laughs> and it's none an of the local ecology can deal with it because of its mm. particular um, defense mechanism. You get your, your, your dog eats one. Dog is dead. They're um pretty bad. An invasive species brought in to deal with another invasive species brought in to control a um an invasive plant species. Mm. What I want to know is is do, do the fire ants leave the cane toads alone? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. There's been a whole bunch of advertising going on about helping um, on particular council with fire ants. Oh, shit, you've got them down there now. Uh, no, not down here. That was... I can't remember which one it was. I think Toowoomba? I might uh, be wrong, though. Wait, you're, are you saying fire ants are invasive? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes, very much so. Oh, wow, they're all over the place over here. Yep. <laughs> they didn't used to be. <laughs> it's such a problem here in Texas that it's... In order to kill them out of a yard, you have to napalm it, dig it up, napalm again. Mm, mm, yeah, and yes. then hope the new soil you put down doesn't have a, the eggs. Yeah. So one of the interesting things I discovered about four months ago is a thing called a weed torch. And I have happily been enjoying my weed torch every chance I get. I found out that the fire ant mounds that are in my yard are part dirt and part something organic and some sort of salt. Uh, I don't know what kind of salt it is, but it's definitely organic. And if you take the weed torch and you turn it up to the highest setting and you blast it into the, the mound, you will burn a hole about two to three inches into the ground beyond like, and it's like crater like, and it's got these ash white little caves and the salt crystals form. All the ants are dead, and it takes them generally about a week to recover and build a new mound, to which I torch that one. And it's a fun game. I hope they think that I am a a god of war and vengeance and that, that I'm weeding out the weak or some shit like that because in my opinion, they I was weed whacking and they got all over my leg and tore it up and now it's just vengeance. Fair Melt enough. Found some aluminum cans and poured down the hole down the uh, mound. That you know, that's a thing over near Tallahassee to do. 
There's a guy who does that, and I think it's pretty cool. You hear a nice popping sound. What, what, mm. what? It's all the ants exploding. What? What's in the can? You melt, melt. the aluminum. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Molten aluminum yeah. down the holes. And I'm going to let y'all go. It is 7 o'clock my time. I have got to get some food. My sugar is about to drop down to double digits. Have a good one, Richard. Good luck with that. Catch y'all later. See ya. Yeah, it's a little flamethrower. Yeah, I use it to clean my driveways and stuff. It has been fun to just be hanging out in the early part of the morning, setting fire to my lawn, having the people drive by and slow down like, what the hell is he doing? Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting there setting fire to all sorts of stuff. My parents had one of those when I was growing up. I haven't seen one in Australia for a very long time. Uh, Grant comments that his brother is a firefighter and weed torches keep him in a job. <laughs> right. I didn't know you could still get them. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be able to. You know, I never knew anything about them, and then one day I was walking through the uh, hardware store, the um, lo ha box kind of styled hardware store that's everywhere, uh, and and I see this thing, and it's got fire on the end of it, and I'm like, what have I found? Ooh, what rev magical item lays before me? <laughs> <laughs> Revelation. <laughs> it requires propane tanks <laughs> and shoots out fire so i i googled it and uh yeah then i i went and spent 10 bucks on this piece of tubing you're right it's a propane huh because i'm pretty sure the one my dad used was a liquid fuel based thing yeah i would use i, I could get butane and i'm pretty sure i could get a pressure nozzle attached to this piping and make mm. that work for me mm. And that would be glorious. But uh, for right now, I'm just playing safe, and I've got a propane torch. Cool. I've got a propane torch out in the workshop. Never thought about turning it on the garden, though. No, look out. Grant's found us one. They're 50 bucks. Oh, saddle. Oh, nice. nice. And that's like uh, 30 bucks USD. <laughs> Just think of how quick you could dry your paint with one of these. <laughs> right? The color of your painting these, black. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of thing you get a Christmas gift for somebody. Mm -hmm. Grandma opens up her package. What did you get me? And you'd be like, it's a flamethrower, Grandma. It's a flamethrower. She says, what am I going to use this for? And you say, what are you not going to use it for? <laughs> Remember those randy old guys down at the grocery store? Well, <laughs> that's not a cane you're walking on. That's a flamethrower. <laughs> Remember when you tried to cross the road and the, that car cut you off? That's not a cane. It's a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> News at five. <laughs> Grandmother spouts flame. Torches car. <sighs> <laughs> I think you need to stop putting ideas in my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, you called me on and said, come hang out and talk about stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. I certainly did. So this is what you wanted. Uh, speaking of which, Dan, it's four to the top. Four hour. to the top of the hour. I'll finish the red on this guy and call it. 
Yeah, speaking of which, I thought these were goblins and not orcs. Yeah. I don't remember the rest of your goblins wearing red. Well, they do. Okay. I remember your orcs wearing red. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the goblins do too. Red coats. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Red shirts. Well, red rags. Star Trek joke. Yeah. Introduced a new red shirt at the start of episode. Red shirt dies. It's the whole reason Pratchett wrote Guards, Guards, isn't it? Mm hmm. That is one I that I I love all his work, but that definitely one strikes home really well. I haven't read it in a very long time. Brazil. Fire ants come from Brazil. Mm. Byproduct yeah. of the waxing industry. Yeah, the they were imported into Alabama in the early 1900s. We only got them over here in 2002. You lucky bastards. Oh, no. They Not love really, they, Yeah. It's like, it's like the fire ant holiday destination. They love it. They've migrated hundreds of kilometers south. Mm. They actually came in in my hometown um, and were spread fairly well uh, before we even knew that they were here. Mm. So what the state government did was close down our local school in this area, local government school, and turned it into the Fire Ant Eradication Centre. They based like a thousand public servants out of this school, all dedicated to hunting down fire ants. And they kind of succeeded for a little bit and then they gave up. And now you can say for yourself, And now, no now our problem is everyone else's problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If only they specialised in the eradication of cane toads. Uh, it's a bit hard. Well, nature doesn't work that way either. Wheat torch. Yes. <laughs> Eradicating <laughs> fire ants one weed torch at a time. <laughs> right? So, I mean, get yourself a high powered BB gun, walk around, and blow cane toads away. We're not allowed to have those. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have to use golf clubs <laughs> or weed I use torches. A pitchfork. Use a pitchfork. Yep. Uh, that's quite humane. Well, you spear them, and then you chuck them through the air. You give them a good overarm swing. Yeah. Nice. And all of a sudden, they're in someone else's yard. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my somebody else's problem stick. <laughs> Watch this. It's now somebody else's problem. Yeah, no, golf clubs. What about... Um... Uh, this is a far-fetched one. What about a drone with a, a spike on the bottom of it? And it can fly over and then drop down and stab it or a knife or something. I think the cane toad would probably win. Cane toad versus hmm. drone. Oh, boy. I did see something about a, a guy who's got a, a Raspberry Pi hooked up to a, some sort of low-powered laser in a turret mount that blasts yeah. cockroaches. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's where I was going. Like, that's a real thing now. <laughs> yeah. So They also have one... Go ahead. 
Cockroaches in the open represent about 0.001 of the cockroach population of any given area. So shooting the ones you can see is kind of a waste of time. Anyhow. Well, There's a... you know, scale up your application, get a bigger laser. <laughs> the ones the US Navy are playing with. Right. <laughs> you can buy a two watt laser easily offline. I've got a sixty-five one watt one outside. Well, I'm there you go, your cane toad problem is solved. Now you just gotta hook <laughs> just, it up. I just have to put them in the cabinet and <laughs> run a cut. <laughs> Get yourself a drone with a um one of those turrets on it and hook your laser up to it so it drives around zapping toads all day. Yeah, I, I'm kind of reminded of Evangelion at this point because it the drone would have to be attached to a domestic power source so to be dragging a power cable behind it. Don't yeah. You don't know that you'd power a 65 watt laser for very long off a battery. No. Really, really good shock bumpers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like drives up and folds out a pair of arms, wraps around the toad, squeezes, and then electrocutes. Yeah, see, I don't think you need the electrocute in that equation. You just need the squeeze. Rolls That's up, fair. grabs a toad, squeeze, pop, move on. Mmm. And we're back to golf clubs again. That's fair. But there's a um, a man who did the same thing with a turret mm. and a laser, and it detects mosquitoes. Uh, now that would be so cool. He just fires off for mosquitoes. You just don't want to be looking at it while it's doing it. Yes, you don't. Speaking of mosquitoes, these are pretty cool. I like the wings, Matty. They do look good. You should show them off. Hmm. Yes, photos will be taken later when I get them on their bases. Well, like I suggested to Andy when she was using these shifting paints, what you want to do is take a short video. Yeah. Because a still image doesn't really show the shifting effect. No. Mm -mm. You're right. It doesn't. And they do shift, and they, they shift really dramatically, actually. The purple to green is really dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. We're done. Thanks for coming along. Yeah, not a problem. Thanks for having me. No worries. And uh, see you guys all next week. Maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs>